Hi everyone, it's Carletta from Body Candy. I just wanted to do a short video to talk about my bubble frosting that I use to frost my bath bomb donuts and cupcakes and um, bath um, products. Um, basically, I just use a meringue sugar frosting and I add um, SLSA to it and you know the cream of tartar my fragrance you know whip it all up and you know basically i just get this hard um frosting like uh consistency um also i had questions about how i get my frosting to stick to my bath bombs and the truth of the matter is, it's kind of almost like a trial and error period for me because it took me a while to, you know, get the recipe down enough where I was able to ship them and also to sell them without being concerned about the frosting coming off. Um, as you can see, this is one of my Easter donuts and to make a long story short, it's pretty old, but... As you can see, the frosting stays on. It, it doesn't come off. It's pretty durable. And it's perfect for shipping. I know some people are very skeptical about using the sugar frosting. My customers love it. They have no problem with it. And, you know, for me, basically, it's just a decoration. It's not like, a, you know, a big deal for me. But, you know, for those who are concerned about that, there are other recipes that do not contain sugar that work just as great and are just as beautiful. So um, you can definitely look that up. And they also have um, recipes that you can buy on Etsy and places like that. But for me, you know, I just use the regular meringue frosting and um, candy sprinkles and, you know, regular glitter. And I stick my ice and candy on and I just go from there. And this is pretty old. I was just going to do a short demo. I'm not sure of how it might um, react to the water because it's, you know, I made this like the week of Easter. It's like almost the end of May. But, you know, here's basically a demo of how they frost. I mean, how the frosting um, reacts to the water in the bath bomb. Um, you know, it's not the most recent, um, you know, bath bomb, but you know, pretty much self-explanatory. So here we go. And as you can see, it's it's working. It's still a little weak, but um, it's floating and the bubbles are submerging from the bath bomb donut. Now also, um, another thing, uh, some people may feel that you know, the frosting isn't useful. Um, I find that it's very useful and I enjoy um, using it. And it melts away perfectly fine. As you can see, it melts. It doesn't like cause a lot of headache in the water. It melts away and it, it really melts. Like some people are like, I'm so scared of taking the bath and sugar and I'm just like, oh my gosh, you have no idea what, honey, what you're missing. Because it's fantastic if you ask me. And my customers, they love it. And it smells really good and is a good exfoliant for the skin. As you can see, there's a close-up. It's breaking off. And um, it's not that powerful. The bath bomb is, like, very old. So, you guys, if you're interested in making sugar frosting, all you got to do is just look it up and... Add in your, you know, your own little things. You can I add like a teaspoon of olive oil to it. You know, it's no biggie. And um, also, I double my SLSA by at least, you know, you know, I eyeball it, but I put more SLSA in than a recommended um, suggestion. Well, suggested. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm tongue-tied today. It's too early. I haven't had my lunch. But basically, this is how the bath bomb works. And, you know, it's really pretty. And they melt really well. And the candy sprinkles, they melt in the water. They don't aggravate the skin. Um, 
here's the little bunny which will also melt it just gets really soft crumbly you know nobody's you know irritated and you know it's just really really fun so i hope you guys enjoyed that short video and i'm gonna finish letting this bad boy dissolve and i'm gonna soak my hands in and you know and enjoy the rest of my day so till next time you guys enjoy and happy soaping bye, -bye.